What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are having a great one today, as always. And to celebrate Election Day in America, I thought we would take a look at one of my all-time favorite clowns. Also, for some reason, it seems like it's a clown week, because uh, we did Terrify earlier, and now we got the great Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Um, so this figure is from Mars Toys. I suppose we'll show the box off a little bit before I open it up more. Um, if you are interested in getting one, he was a little over 200 bucks. Um, I think on resale, it's a little bit around the 250 300 range at this point. Um, but if you look for The Laughing Man by Mars Toys... Uh, you typically might be able to find some stores that still have him, uh, so that would be what I would recommend, try and save a little bit of cash that way. This is basically a remake, or a copy, of the uh, the one Hot Toys did, from my understanding. Now, the Hot Toys figure is beautiful. Um, it's honestly one of my probably most loved Hot Toys figures that they've ever done. This box is much harder to open than I thought it would be. Um, but unfortunately, I never actually got one. Um, I've seen quite a few. One of my buddies had it. I was always incredibly jealous of it. Um, but just the price of actually getting them at this point was a bit outside of what I would want to pay for them. Do a little shimmy. Come on. Uh, the Hot Toys one now, if you want to get them, is, I believe, over 600 bucks. Uh, so this definitely a good option uh, for people like me that really wanted the figure but don't want to invest that much. Uh, also, I don't care about third party because I'm going to put you on a shelf. So it's not like I'm getting you for value. I'm getting you because you look cool. And this guy certainly does. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got. Uh, we'll go ahead and just start with the good stuff, which is the figure itself. And right from the get-go, I'm loving it. Mwah. Uh, so this is just really, really fantastic. Um, the fabric that they used on this coat feels phenomenal. It's super soft. It feels like velvet. It might even be. Um, it probably isn't, but man, oh man, does it feel like it. Just looking at all the little details they did on that scarf. That creepy Jack smile. Uh, definitely digging it. Um, now, I guess at different angles, it's probably not the perfect likeness, but holy moly, um, when you get them just right... It's really quite remarkable. And then we'll kind of play around with him a little bit. Take a look at some of his mobility. Look at how those hands are. He did a great job with those gloves. Absolutely outstanding there. Um, now again, I do honestly think for the most part, this is just a replication of the Hot Toys one. Um, it definitely has the same accessories and all of that good stuff. Um... I, for some reason, remember the Hot Toys sculpt being a little bit more impressive, but uh, I haven't seen them up close in a very, very long while, uh, so that might just be a case of me remembering what I want uh, more than anything else. Um, not a whole lot of movement in the legs going forward or back, but really, <laughs> with this version of the Joker, unless you're doing a fun little dance number, uh, probably not going to need too much mobility there, uh, as well. I often do. We'll take a gander at the footwear, which is pretty fancy. Oh, he's even got socks. That's cute. Um, so that's kind of fun. Does have a decent amount of wiggle and all of that good stuff, so you should be able to get some nice stances there. Really stiff knee joint, which I love. Oh, boy, that's beautiful. It is double jointed, too, so you can get a lot of articulation there. Uh, for the most part, really, really digging it. Now, I am curious if that unsnapped or... Yeah, so that right there is a bit of a bummer. I'll easily be able to fix it, but on mine, a little button's broke. Um, realistically, I'll probably just glue it. Uh, definitely a little bit depressing, but not the end of the world. That's going to be an easy thing to fix. Like I said, I can kind of just glue that into place and be good to go. Um, or, realistically... Might be able to slide down his little uh, vest and cover it up. Maybe give him a little bit of a bend, play around with it. Yeah, we're pretty close. That's an easy one to fix for me. I'm not too upset by it, but might be something to check out. He's got a, a pretty big fat suit on underneath, so I think with all of the, uh, the... And honestly, it might even just be the clothing, but I think with everything but bunched up in here, it just was a little bit too much, and it cracked that button right in half. 
definitely a bummer. Um, I might reach out to 1-6 kit and see uh, if it's anything they can do about it, but realistically I feel like they'd have to replace the figure and I'm not not necessarily interested in going through that much of a hassle for it. Especially something like that where I really think just a little bit of glue will probably hold it down. But I digress, it is definitely a bummer and something that you might want to be mindful of if you do get them, just take a look at that button. Uh, also the little ones on here, um, they are very flimsy, I do kind of worry if they'll fall off. Um, so I'll just kind of have to be careful with that when I'm posing them around and playing with them. Uh, but it's not the, the worst thing in the world. Um, he does also come with a super cool trench coat, um, which in theory will also cover up that because I can just have that all buttoned up. Um, we could take it out real quick and take a gander. I suppose it ain't going to hurt any. And a good thing with this also is if you're one of the many folks like me that likes to kit bash and do stuff like that, um, I could easily just give this coat to somebody else and make a cool little Joker sidekick. Uh, maybe a Joker variant of uh, Harley. Heck, maybe put it on Art the Clown and make a, uh, a Joker Terrifier. That might be fun. Um, really a nice job with that. It's again the same kind of velvety material as the coat that he's got uh, on the figure. Um, but if you wanted the full trench coat instead of his... Uh, I guess performance suit might be a good way of putting it. Uh, you could definitely swap it out and do that one instead. Now he comes with a ton of accessories, and like I said, these are all pretty much identical to ones that you get uh, from the Hot Toys figure, uh, but we will go ahead and take them out and take a look-see. Um, so we, of course, get his beautiful walking stick, uh, which it is plastic, but they did a fantastic job on it. Um, it's a really simple piece, and honestly, it, it, for the most part, just looks like a clone of the uh, the Hot Toys one, so nothing too special there. You do get his wonderful little remote. That would be to detonate the laughing gas. I'm pretty sure he pulls this out in the parade scene of the movie, um, but it's been a long time since I've actually watched it, I'm embarrassed to say. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that he pulls out to kind of trigger and get everything going. Um, I do see that we've got his fancy acid-spitting orchid over here. Um, so that'll be a fun little thing just to put on a suit. And holy cow, did they do a great job with that. Uh, so that looks super cool. This, of course, shoots out acid. Uh, now, if you had the really, really old um, action figure of him, he had like a water-squirting flower um, that would pump water through his body and shoot it out of that flower. Uh, so kind of a fun and useless little fact there. Uh, he also has classic little chattering teeth. They do actually move, which is interesting. Uh, so cool there. Um, it's spring-loaded, so you're not going to be able to leave them closed unless you take that spring out or just force it down, which I don't know why you want to. But I love that he's got those. That's a fun little uh, add-on there. Um, and, of course, his firearms, which... If I can dig them out, we have got to take a look at. So, of course, he has two. Um, <laughs> this particular one I absolutely love. Uh, he tries to shoot down the Batwing with it, and it's a scene where he pulls it out of his pants in like a really very com comedic fashion. Um, obviously, the barrel is beyond anything you would ever have on a gun like this so it's really just kind of comedically oversized and play they did that scene perfect i absolutely love it um now this is plastic so i it's kind of fragile um any real impact on this um you might run into some problems but they did a pretty good job on it you can move the hammer you can rotate the cylinder if you wanted which is fun uh, it doesn't seem like the trigger moves at all, but that's okay. Uh, but I do like that they added little movable components to it. I always think that's a fun little bonus. Um, and of course, they definitely did that with the smaller version as well. You get a movable hammer. You can actually take the cylinder out on this one, which is nice. And they even put bullets in there, which is cool. Little things like that go a long way for me, so anytime I see that, I'm impressed. So well done in that regard. Oh, what other goodies do we get? Ooh, he's got a megaphone. And a gas mask. I honestly can't tell what this is at a glance. Uh, 
so full disclosure, I, I, I don't know. Somebody in the comments will know because there's definitely smarter people than me. Obviously, it's a radio of some sort, uh, but I really don't remember this. Not the end of the world by any means. Uh, it's cool that he has it. I'll play around with it, but I don't really remember particularly what that's from. Uh, he does, of course, have his bright orange megaphone, which really is just straightforward. There's nothing special to this. You don't really need anything. Pretty straightforward there. The gas mask I absolutely love. Um, so when he ends up uh, gassing the city, uh, he does pop this fella on. Uh, just so he can breathe in that sweet Joker gas uh, without problem. We'll be interested to see how this attaches. Uh, I might have to play around with that a little bit, because it's not like it's... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Is that magnetic? Holy moly. Okay, maybe not. I might have gotten overexcited for something that's not true. Uh, I am stupid, so, uh, you know. Yeah, I definitely got excited for something that's not true. I, I felt like it slid it away to where I was like, oh my gosh, it's magnetic, but it, uh, definitely don't think it is. Nope, dropped it. Totally not magnetic, so, uh, we'll figure out how that attaches at some point. Probably something simple, like in here. So we do got some extra backup buttons if you need them. You get the bang flag and a joker card, which is awesome. I'm not going to pull them out, but I'm going to real quickly try and uh, poke them around a little bit so you can see them. Sadly, they're uh, facing different directions, but maybe. There you go. So you get the little joker bicycle card. And then you get the bang flag, which would stick out of his revolver. Uh, so that's super cool. You can do the uh, the old school uh, fake gun bit, which I, I do adore. Certainly got his hat down at the bottom, which I will have to attach. You can't, can't not put the hat on. Um, and this definitely, definitely has a cool feel to it. It feels like felt. I'm assuming it probably is. Um, but outstanding work on that. Pretty sure it's a haberdashery that makes hats, so whatever sixth scale haberdashery uh, created this, <laughs> bravo. And if I'm wrong about it being a haberdashery, uh, which I probably am, like I say, I'm often dumb, um, yeah, not the end of the world. That hat's pretty darn cool. I gotta see how it fits on his head. We'll do a quick test. Uh, so it does sit on there pretty dang nicely. Uh, Honestly, one of the worries I always have with hats is that they look oversized. Um, I don't feel that this looks terribly too big on him. On the side, it looks spot on. Head on, it looks like it might be a little bit too wide. Uh, but I think you can probably adjust it. And of course, depending on the angle you got him at, maybe give it the little mobster tilt. Probably not. Uh, but you could definitely play around with it a little bit. It actually sits on there pretty nice, which I'm quite surprised about. Um, so that's fun. And good thing is it, there's like no friction uh, taking it on or off, so you don't have to worry about messing up that beautiful green dew. Um, which sometimes when you do the hats on six scale figures, they uh, kind of rub against the plastic over time and wear it down. Um, not going to have, have that problem here so much. Uh, so really the only thing that I am... Um, slightly perplexed by is how we're going to get that gas mask attached uh, which maybe I won't need I can always just have them holding it right it feels like there should be some method of attaching it though I just don't know what it is but I said it before and I'll say it again I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer uh, so it's probably something really easy and uh, eventually when I figure it out I'll put it in the comments down below. Uh, but that'll do it for this.